just wanted, I just, I just wanted to hear him keep talking. How much more faith can a coach have in his team? I think that was what drove them. Alfred, before they left, I spoke to him. He said, "Look, we're going to shock the world," and they did. Exactly so, and um, I, I, I'm particularly excited when he says, when he uses the the phrase, "we." Mm. Not the Nigerian team, we. He has mm. found a way of integrating himself into this team. His family. He's lived it. He worked with the girls. He, all of the things that was done from camp, from preparations to... You know, when a coach goes to a competition, knowing that he is prepared very well, and you know, having this belief in the players, and the players going out there to get their very best, it gives the coach you know, a particular kind of satisfaction. And that's yeah. what Hugley is, um, uh, is, is saying there. Um, well, what, how many games in uh, four games in five days? I mm. mean, second half of uh, that, uh, well, the third and fourth quarter, there was nothing left in the tank to give. And I think the girls gave their very best there. He's done a fantastic job. And, awesome. I, and I want to also believe and agree with him that this is just the beginning. That's right. This is the beginning of very great things. So I say, time passed. People, there are no teams playing in the World Championship, African players everywhere. They come here, they poach players. Now, the African team now has where they call home, which is Nigeria. Go play and <laughs> shock the world. And awesome. I think it's just the beginning of nice, great things to nice, come. And nice. it, it can only get better it for basketball. It can only get better for basketball in Nigeria. Shout out to the MBBF for putting this together. Um, next up for us is the men. By the way, they've already qualified for the World Cup. And we also need to remember there's the under-19, there's the under-21. Erling has reminded us we need to go back to the grassroots. So uh, it should be a total package for development. We were talking about handball, the National Handball League, before we went, into, uh, before we went to Spain to talk to Coach Oti. So let's listen to some coaches, uh, give their, um, give their, um, their views on the National Handball League. It's important we hear from these coaches because they are an integral part of the developmental work that we are doing with handball. So let's listen to them. The quality of game, matches that have been played so far in the second phase, has improved from the first phase. The standard is high compared to the first phase in Abuja. I think the cause is because the Abuja own the first phase we were not too sure, but the time we had the sponsor, that like we had a sponsor for this league, most teams didn't have time to prepare. But after the first phase, everybody went back and started preparing towards the second phase, because that had a period of about three months then to prepare. Now we know we are running the league. Automatically, we have a two-phase league. Maybe with time, I think it's a five years deal, it's just fine. Maybe with time, we'll, be, we'll now make it maybe four phase or home and away basis on state basis. So that everybody will be busy all through the season. I don't think Dynamos is one team that everybody wants to beat in Nigeria. So we are the pride of all the teams. And that's why you find out that all the matches we play, there is always tension from the crowd. And the crowd reach whenever we want to play, everybody wants to watch us because of the standard we have put over years. And we're just a team that have been together over years, not just bringing in players over time. So we are playing as a team and as a family because the team has been together. In Abia State, I came with the young players to showcase them because definitely they are the future hope of the Nigerian team, handball team. I am an Olympian. Oh yes, I have to bring people that will represent me, that will change me to be there again. So it's even beautiful that we have a female coach also doing it with handball in the country. And she said, yes, Olympia and herself. And she came with um, a good team, the Abia Valiance, and she says they can actually give a, give a team to the country. You see what I was saying? So uh, big ups to everyone that put together the National Handball League. We'll continue to monitor it. Let's not stop. Let's do more.